Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write a function which is going to operate on the specific range of array elements. So here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose, we're going to write a function which is going to take two pointers. So the first pointer is going to point to the starting array element and the second pointer is going to point to the ending of the final array element and our function is going to work on the array range between that starting to the end point or the final point. So just for the demonstration purpose we're going to write a function and let me call it as display. So it's going to be void display and as I told you before our function is going to take two parameters I mean two pointers. So we're going to make our pointers constant so it's going to be const and int star start comma const int star end all right now we have two pointers in our function the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create another pointer and it's going to be const int star ptr and uh, next we're going to write a for loop and this for loop is going to iterate on the array range that we pass here. So it's going to be for ptr equal to start ptr not equal to end ptr plus plus. And next we're going to build the for body. So here we're just going to print out the value pointed by this ptr so i'm going to use cout and it's going to be star ptr and let's end this line all right now we have written a function which is going to take the two pointers or the range of our elements and this function is going to print out the values between that ranges of that array so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the function prototyping so i'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it before this main function and end it with the semicolon. And the next thing that we're going to do is in our main function, we're going to create an array and let me call it as numbers. And I'm going to initialize this array with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 values. So our numbers array is going to contain the nine values. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to call this display function and we're going to pass the array element ranges and, and our function is going to display the values by using that ranges. So I'm going to call the display function and for the first time we're going to pass the whole array to do that first we need to pass the starting point that's going to be the address of this array element containing 22 and we can get that by using this numbers so it's going to be numbers here and then we need to write numbers plus the displacement so we need to write 9 because you know one more than the last index and I'm going to save this. I'm going to build and run this. So now you guys can see, you know, our function has successfully printed the array elements using the ranges passed to it. So 22, 55, 66, 44, 22, and similarly 99. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change this range. Let's say we want to print the array elements from the index three so it's going to be zero one two three so we're going to write numbers plus three and i'm going to build and run this so we got 44 50 44 22 and similarly up to 99 so zero one two three we got the elements from the index three similarly if i want i can change this one let's change this one to five I'm going to save this, build and run. Now you guys can see we got 44 and 22. So that's because the third index that's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 44 and 22. 
so this is it guys this is how you guys can uh, write a function which is gonna which can operate on the range of our elements that you pass and uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial